in the vendor hall today. Had my sponsor with me, so I was safe. <laughs> and I, I, I looked around, you know, I just love walking through there with all those harps. Everybody's playing harps every, every direction, and, and there's so much joy that's in that vendor hall. Um, it's just wonderful. But I do feel that it is my duty as a harp player and as a humanitarian <laughs> to warn you about bad harps. Today, I'm really feeling that I can communicate this to you best in some music that's in my roots, deep in my roots, country western music. And I'm actually feeling tonight like maybe I'm even channeling Louise Trotter. <laughs> Kim, my costume change, please. <laughs> hey, give Kim a hand. <laughs> Isn't Kim great? Okay, so I know Louise, you know, she's a little, she's a little sharper dresser than I am, but you know, she's had longer time to accumulate all that glitz. So yeah, I gotta get the right note. Cheating. Heart. We'll send you to the moon. Bang, zoom. You cry and cry and try to tune. But that pitch won't come. Oh, the whole gig through. Your cheating heart. Will be the death of you. Oh, you'll think you've got your lever set right for the next song. Then you start playing and find out they're horribly, horribly, horribly mysteriously wrong. So honestly, there's only one thing you can do. You gotta send that bad harp to packing. You go into the vendor hall with your credit card in hand, do some serious retail therapy. No, I do not get a kickback from those guys, you know. And buy yourself something new. I love diamonds, <laughs> but everybody knows a good harp, <laughs> a good harp is a girl's best. 